is Lady Lex UK and this is a dreams tutorial today I'm going to show you a very simple little technique that allows you to put a progress bar on a piece of music so instead of uh, the player coming into remix in order to see how long your piece of music is you can give them a progress bar and they can play that your piece of music and see how long it's going to play for so first of all we'll grab a piece of music there we go this piece of music I've made and uh, we're now going to add a microchip just to keep things nice and neat we'll pop our timeline up in there right now we're going to use our text gadget so you put in text display and as these are quite big we're going to need to make this a little bigger as well there we go because we're going to put a few of these in so here's our first text displayer. We're going to use this as our background. So uh, first of all, you need to put in um, a space in uh, in the text box instead of some text. If you don't put anything in this text box, the text display will not display. Right, so we go to text box properties. I'm going to turn uh, auto fit off and I'm going to make it um, less curvy and I'm going to turn off the border because I don't want it let's go back to the text box and I'm going to make this black this is going to be our background now we're going to um, set this horizontal alignment to left like so and I'm just going to squeeze this down to the size I want my the background of my progress bar and the length I want it that's about right that's the position I think I want uh, my progress bar to be so there we go I've, I've done all of that that's done now I need to copy this and we're going to make this uh, a white bar and we'll just move this out of the way and we'll just shrink this down to that sort of size and we've got no border on that so that's good so that's the that's the white one done uh, now um, we're going to uh, use these as different layers so if we go back to the first one, our black one, go into uh, this setting here and set that to zero. This is the sort of, so we start that at zero and this one is one. So now we're going to copy this and we're going to color this one red. This is going to be the um, what, what slides across the color of the bar so whatever color you want it to be I'm going to stick as red and uh, that's the color of the bar and we're going to make that one a two then we're going to copy our first one which is that black box and we're going to shrink this down to the smallest it will go And we're going to call that that's zero one two so this will be three let's just check that yep that's two that's one and that's zero okay so that's all of our our progress bars sorted out so we'll just zoom out a bit okay so here is my timeline with my piece of music in we're going to select that red bar and I'm going to put a timeline a keyframe rather a keyframe um, at the very end of this piece of music and then I'm going to select that there we go done record that's the end of my red line and now I'm going to put in another keyframe and I'm going to put it over here and 
I'm going to take my red one and I'm going to make it as small as possible. That's as small as it will go. Press record. Stick that in there. Make sure you, you've got it on the same line and so you can get that green line and set the blend, blend type to linear. So there we go, you can see that. Okay, so now right, we need to readjust some of this um, because it's not quite the right length and things. So we'll, we'll, we'll adjust the black one. You want to match it both ends, that's about right. And this black square is not quite not quite in the right position. Is that better? Should be okay. Let's just check to see. No, it's not got um it's got a shadow. That's what's causing the problem. There we go, turn the shadow off. Now the reason you need this extra block is to hide this red square because obviously it's not going to go back to zero. So we want it to start at zero. So it's hiding underneath that black square. I still haven't quite lined that up correctly. Because it looks different. This is the trouble. It looks different in the... In, in the in crate mode than it does let's put it in again Do something like that but I don't, I don't like that very much right let's delete that don't like that okay you just need it to cover the end of that. See that looks fine. There we go. And just to show you as I move along, there we are. This is going to move along as we go along the piece of music. So we get to the end. So there we are, a progress bar. Pretty simple really, once you've aligned everything up. There we go. That's how you do a progress bar on a timeline. Thank you for watching. Hope that was useful and I'll catch you in your dreams.